G'day Auckland, Craig Lord here, your best option for Mayor. We have a problem, and you need to know about it. And like so many of our issues, if it's not directly affecting you, then you never get to hear about it. Well, I'm around now, so you'll get to hear about everything that I hear about. This particular problem, though, that I speak of goes right down into the root of our existence. It's about us as a society maintaining the ability to feed ourselves and maintaining the ability to save our land for future generations. I speak of farming and cropping down in Pukekohe and Franklin. There are some bad things happening that you need to be aware of. And thankfully, you have a way to help set things right. You see, council has been converting elite soil cropping land to residential. And they don't need the permission of the landowner to do it, nor do they have to tell them they're about to do it. And that rightfully should shock you. Take that in again. If you own a farm, it can be rezoned residential. Now that means you pay a different rates amount, but it also means that you have the right, if you wanted to, to sell or develop your block of land and turn it into housing. And okay, it's your land, you can if you want. But think about what is happening here. If you have, for example, five blocks of land with different owners all together, and those blocks are currently elite soil cropping, and they all get rezoned as residential, you can keep cropping for as long as you want. But if one farmer decides to call it quits and build houses, it's good to go. So what does that mean for the other surrounding farmers? It means they can no longer continue to grow your food. Everything changes when you have houses next door. Take this even further. Each time housing or industrial goes up beside or goes around an elite soil piece of Pukekohe and Franklin land that is less food for the masses, it's that cut and dried, no debate, nada, zip. Every time we lose elite soil land, the workforce changes dramatically. Everything that revolves around growing the food is effective. There is a 20-acre block in Pukekohe that was recently converted, and the grower now has to pay $25,000 a year in rates. The grower can't afford to, as they can't sell their products at the higher price to cover it. Goodbye to our food from that supplier, and goodbye to that as cropping land. Well done, council and government. Real forward thinking there. There is another issue, though. The issue of how farmers are being picked on for making all our rivers dirty. The new facts have just been released showing that 75% of it is actually town and city, not farmers. So we need to back off the farmer blame. But if you think about Pukekohe, they have been farming the same elite soil for 150 years at least. That's why it's elite soil and that's why we need to fight for it as a community. We cannot let that quality dirt the farming areas that so many of our forefathers created for us disappear because a few temporary elected custodians decided it would be better to put concrete and a house on it. Because once that happens, it's gone forever. It is our duty to leave the world in a better place. That's clearly the climate change fight that's currently going on. And yet, council and government would rather turn our beautiful farming land into mass housing. So let's stop this. You do it in two ways. First, get me in as mayor so I can be your voice against this and be on the inside to keep an eye on it and fight against it. Also, by being on the inside, I can tell you what is happening so that there are no more secret, squirrel, stealthy land takeovers and you'd have to be fairly naive to think that big development is not asking for mayoral meetings. <laughs> they won't enjoy having them with me. Second, You'll see a link in the post of this video. Put in your submission, 10th of October deadline, it's important. Tell the government that you do not want local councils having the right to decide what is elite soil or not. Tell the government to leave our farmlands alone. Tell them that councils should not be rezoning our farms. There are other places to build. That is your call to action. Those two things. Vote, have a say. If you don't, there'll be no more farms and more houses and what are you gonna eat? Call to action, people. I'm Craig Lord. Thank you for making a difference.